at Google Cloud Next 24. I'm here with John, and he's going to talk to us about shaping the future of software development at Google Cloud. John, thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Could you do a brief intro of yourself? Tell us what you do at Google, and then give me a little synopsis of your talk. I'm a product manager here at Google. I work on Gemini in Google Cloud. And uh, I was talking about Gemini and Google Cloud, about how we're applying it to the types of operations and software development cases that our customers go through each day. Got it. Okay, so when you say Gemini and Google Cloud, what does this encompass? Well, you know, Gemini is our brand for all of the great AI stuff we're doing across Google. Gemini and Google Cloud is really about taking that AI power and applying it to the types of use cases that our customers go through every day developing software, deploying software, operating software in a cloud environment. Yeah, so there's a lot of features and services within Google, uh, Gemini in Google Cloud, right? Yeah, absolutely. This stuff can be applied all over the place, and so we're integrating it in all sorts of products. Great, and in your session that you give, you talk about three key things, right? So workload optimization, observability of infrastructure, and applications, and operating more securely. Can you walk us through each of those three things? Yeah, I mean, these are common things that anybody has to deal with when they're deploying an application, whether it's on cloud or not. And so we have a lot of tools available to deal with. How do I deploy my application? How do I make sure that it's up and running safely? And how do I guard against security vulnerabilities or other issues that could compromise it? But it's not always easy for your average person coming to cloud to know how to use all of that effectively and to know exactly how to apply it to their workload. So that's where Gemini comes in. It's got an, uh, an interface where you can talk to it, ask it questions, and now with the new capabilities that we're adding in Cloud Assist and Code Assist, it is actually looking at your applications, your data, your workload, and providing tailored responses that help you deploy more efficiently, optimize things, secure it, whatever your concerns are. Okay, wonderful. So, so in terms of observability, for example, right? How does Gemini elevate this beyond just like basic metrics? How does it, you know, offer deeper insights? Well, we gather a lot of metrics, both from the underlying services that we run on GCP, as well as the applications that our customers run, and those all go into our cloud app suite, where we have metrics and logs and traces but it's not always easy to pull out the signal from all of that, it's a ton of data. And people aren't necessarily always comfortable with say going in and writing a query to get at the thing that they need to know or is most important to them. What Gemini is able to do is take a natural language statement saying, hey look, I want to look at the utilization of my CPUs or the uptime of my application relative to this or that. It can take that natural language statement turn that into a query, go and run it, get the results, graph that for you, and give it back to you within seconds. So it takes you from someone who may have no understanding of how to interact with these observability tools to someone who can get an answer out in seconds just by asking the question. Yeah, in seconds, right? That seconds. is wild. Right. And it is, it really is that fast. I've been using it so quick, it's amazing. Yeah, and normally you'd have to go read through the docs, do some trial and error. It might take you a while to do that. It speeds things up and makes you a lot more productive. Okay, and so then in terms of, for example, security, compliance, zero trust, these are always things that are super important, of course, you know, protecting our workloads, our organizations. How does Gemini for Google Cloud help in that respect? Well, one of the key things we do in applying Gemini to Google Cloud is teaching it all about the types of concerns that our customers have and all of the information that we have about how to keep things secure. So the, one of the first things we do is go in and give Gemini all of the training it needs to understand what it means to be secure. And then we're working with a number of partners, folks like Stack Overflow, where we're taking this whole library of security knowledge from the internet working with our partners to integrate it and making it available to Gemini so it can answer questions based on that content in real time. And then we apply all that knowledge directly to your resources as a cloud customer. So we're looking at your workloads, we're scanning your VMs, we're pulling that information in and saying for the things that you care about, 
How does this knowledge apply? How can we help you make that more secure? Yeah, amazing. And I love the partnerships, right? We have all of this Google information, but let's bring in other folks who also have a ton of great information and expand on it. Yeah, there's a whole ecosystem out there, not just security. Uh, we've got many of them here today at Google Cloud and we are uh, applying all of our relationships to make this uh, a lot strong. Amazing, okay, and so then what about, here's a little trick question, not really, in 60 seconds or less, can you tell me how developers can seamlessly integrate Google, uh, Gemini for Google Cloud into their day-to-day -day work? Yeah, if you're a developer out there and you're looking to integrate Gemini and Google Cloud into what you do every day, Gemini Code Assist is able to integrate into your environment, whether that's an IDE or some other way that you're doing code, give you code generation suggestions, code completion suggestions, be part of your development process. And then when you go to deploy those things onto Google Cloud, uh, the Cloud Assist product is able to help you operate them, deploy them, secure them, whether you're using databases, data analytics, our security products, all of it, we've integrated it directly in those interfaces. And so as you go through the life cycle of developing your applications, you'll find it's there right in the interfaces you use every day, ready to uh, help you out, answer your questions, give you AI assistance. Yeah, it's wonderful. Well, we're meeting the users where they are, which is nice. You don't have to go out of your way, yeah. right? Great. John, thank you so much for being here with us today. It was really a pleasure. Make sure to check out John's full talk. It'll be linked in the description along with a bunch of other interesting links. And uh, great, have a great rest of your next. You too, thanks.